Hello and welcome. So today I want to talk to you about this full moon coming up in Cancer, our first full moon of 2022. And this full moon is all about our intuition and our feelings, connection, and family. It's in Cancer and it is opposite Capricorn. So it's always about finding balance between uh, the sun and the moon. So it's finding balance between our emotions and being pragmatic, basically, is what this full moon is all about. You can really harness the energies of this full moon by going in and retreating. It's also Mercury retrograde, so energy is really supporting us to go within. Take some time to end your day with meditation and to journal and to really cleanse yourself and do an Epsom salt bath. So I have some great recommendations to help you with this full moon in Cancer. My first one is Lepidolite. This is a lavender Lepidolite. This stone actually contains lithium in it. So it's super calming, just like lithium is. It really helps to calm the energies and it helps with dream work and to sleep. So if you struggle with sleep, sleeping with your um, Lepidolite stone or your Lepidolite bracelet will help to deepen your sleep, help you to get into the dream state, into that REM sleep. So it's a great time also to journal when you wake up because if you're anything like me, you think that you're going to remember those profound dreams, especially if I wake up uh you know, in the middle of the night, two or three, and have a really profound dream, I think I'm gonna remember it. I wake up later in the morning, I have no clue what this profound dream was that may have even changed my life, I don't know. But I really encourage you to put a little journal next to your bed and to work with this Lepidolite, whether with dream work, uh, just to calm your energy, and meditation. It's a great stone for that. Selenite. This is a new one with the moon phases. I don't know if you can see that, but I really like this charm and this sterling silver bead. But selenite is a really good one. Here's a new piece that I just got with the moon phases. Um, and this selenite's feldspar selenite. This is pure selenite. Helps to cleanse the energy. Helps to calm the mind by clearing out the mind by clearing out the monkey brain and all of that thinking. I also recommended um, selenite for mercury retrograde as well. It also connects us to the angelic realm, to our higher self, to spirit, to source energy, to get deeper downloads when you meditate. This is a great stone, bracelet, stone, however you use it to even put on your crown chakra while you're meditating to keep in your energy field. I wear selenite all the time to stay cleansed. And the next one I'm recommending for this full moon in Cancer, which is also called the wolf moon, because it's believed that at this time in January, food was hard to find. And so the wolves would be out howling. And that's why it was called the wolf moon. Okay, this one is shungite with another moon phase charm. So Shungite is sourced from Russia, from Shungite River. It is very, very cleansing, not just really with our um, exterior, our auric energy, but interior wise. This is a stone that you can actually, if you have in a stone piece, which I do believe I still have some on my website, but you can, um, take shungite and put it in your water and drink it as an elixir and it will help to cleanse you from the inside out you can put it in a bath it will disintegrate a little bit um, but that's okay because you can take that internally to help to cleanse you it just releases all the toxins and full moons are all about releases getting rid of anything that's stagnant the full moon illuminates and shines the light on what is no longer serving you I'll put a link below to my um, blog post newsletter, which has a whole full moon ceremony for you. 
Lapis lazuli is my next one. So Cancer is a very intuitive sign. It's a water sign. It's about tapping into that inner knowing, which Lapis Lazuli is great for working that third eye right here. It's a wonderful stone to meditate with, um, especially if you're looking for some new insights and some clarity. The full moon is, this particular full moon, is about healing the inner child. It's about going within the crab, goes within the crab nurtures the family and is very intuitive so you really want to tap into that energy right now you know what lessons do you need to learn and what do you need to release what could be holding you back from your family relationships or for the life that you want to manifest and lastly is my beautiful labradorite and this one again is a great stone to also meditate with it is protective and it's known as the stone for transformation and the stone of magic and it helps to bring forth the subconscious stuff that we've repressed stuff that maybe we've forgotten but is holding us back because we are basically functioning from the subconscious mind and we don't really know that so this is a great stone for bringing that forward again dream work with this and meditation with labradorite journaling with labradorite to bring forth for transformation so i hope that you enjoyed those crystal recommendations for the full moon in cancer and again i'll drop a link below with my whole full moon ritual for you to follow and i really included a lot of great music and i just want to do a bonus crystal for this full moon because it really is about healing the inner child self-love going within this is rose quartz this is a lighter rose quartz wonderful wonderful stone for healing the heart for believing in yourself healing all those old wounds forgiving yourself the compassion that you give to others but giving that compassion to yourself there's another rose quartz heart many full moon blessings and if you enjoyed this video and enjoy learning more about the crystals meditations mercury retrograde astrology metaphysics then please like comment and subscribe and share this out and i enjoy connecting